How y'all doing today? Yeah, yeah, I uh, I did my thing. I, I went to work this morning and uh, and I came home and uh, you know, took a quick nap and, and I've been working this afternoon on something that uh, is really uh, confusing for me. It's this thing with uh, Deb and, and uh, so we've been talking about it. And so he, he wanted me to give you this parable, I guess you might call it. Um, see, Here's the thing with um, with any husband and wife and any couple. See, when they decide to get married, it's like they've decided to, they're going to stand by each other. They're like two trees. They're going to literally stand by each other through it all, all right? And so as those trees, they grow through, go through life, they grow, and they continue on. Well, this simulator we're in, has about a thousand plus stupid tragedies that can happen to any one of us that uh, can totally knock the tree over. However, that partner's there to put their branches around and to hold them up and to keep them tight. And uh, they get through it. Next thing you know, those branches are grown in and they're wrapped, that trunk's wrapped around that trunk for that moment. And it's, it's the history. And as life goes on, it happens over and over again where the tragedies of boot camp, because there's thousands of them. And uh, it doesn't always hit just one person. It, you know, sometimes both are strong because of that twine that they've got between each other. That's uh, that's how you create soulmates. Because the next thing you know, 50 years has gone by, and you look down your trunk, and you two have been wrapped around holding each other up the whole friggin' time. And you got this massive backstory to to uh, to tell people that, yeah, yeah, I remember when she did. I remember when he, yeah. That's, that's how you make a, a soulmate. And it's truly what the the system is designed for the simulator is to have that soulmate before you die so that you uh you go into heaven with honor and uh, a partner and um but here's my realization is that the father has somehow used his story for the for deb and put it in my heart. So though my experiences, my backstory is none with her, my connection to her is as if there we is a huge story between us. And part of it is I have to get with her to find out what this 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 backstory is and everything that uh that that made her him love her. Because uh and then uh my backstory will help her to understand this, I hope, attraction with never meeting each other. See, she's actually my link, or he is my link. And, and you know, I say he is God, but he isn't actually a he. He's not a she. It's a computer. Uh, yeah, he's gender neutral. Okay, so I just use he because I got to pick one. All right, so it's... And I am not about to say it, no, because I'm not about to call my father it, it all right? But anyway, um, his his love is what's connected us. So we, uh, I've been struggling with that one. And uh, yeah, and then unfortunately, I was supposed to talk to some people this morning and uh, they started right off with lies and it just, I can't do anything with that. You know, I got to give them some details. You know, everybody wants to know what the hell's going on. Well, they can't tell them if they're they're still lying to me. So I, I, I'm not sure. I guess I'm going to try again tomorrow, and, and we'll see if this gets a little bit further. But uh, this is a Muscatine-only step, and uh, the people I need to talk to, they, they got to acknowledge me. They can't ignore me and say, you know, I don't know nothing. I know nothing. I've seen nothing. It's like... Okay, yeah, we'll be back. Yeah, well, we'll we'll try this again tomorrow. It's, you know, we... Yeah.
it's just one of them things. Anyway, I, I, I've had my personal struggles, and I, I'm, of course, like I said, dealing with my debitis and uh, and um, everything else. But uh, I'm here. We're going to do a couple things. I, I'm sure i got a couple things to talk about, and uh, we'll get after it tomorrow with some more. Get, see, it's, it's an important step. We can, I don't know how in the hell we're going to get this done. Because uh, he, he got to go that way. I'm sitting there asking, well, can we go another way? <laughs> no. So I I have to go this route. And uh, we'll find out. We'll find out tomorrow. Um, because, uh, yeah, we got to get this thing through. It, it's it's got to happen. And uh, I don't know what uh, uh, what to say except that uh, Houston the rocket didn't launch today. Okay, we're, we're going to try again tomorrow. All right. So, anyway, uh, I'm uh, I'm going to uh, continue on. I'm gonna watch some more music. But uh, how are you and your soulmate doing? Maybe look down your trunks. Take a moment. Find out the times when her branches were holding you up, or your branches was holding her up, or the time when damn you were both holding on for hell. <laughs> to each other to hold up because this boot camp is hell it really is in so many ways it it has thousands of tragedies that can happen and uh you got to be there for your partner that's uh that's the number one thing that's why you have a partner those tragedies and uh keeping each other straight and upright that's that's the mission that's how the system's designed so anyway, I'm going to do some music and I'll be back in a few.